New makeup makeover is what we're doing in this video today. I feel polished and put together and I can't wait to share with you this new makeup and how I got this look so that you can see it and see whether or not these products are something that you might like as well. Hi friends, so the last video that I did, I had an eye look where I did just a little bit of eyeliner with a neutral eye and you all requested so very much that I repeat that look and show it to you. So that's what we're gonna do today. You're gonna get to see what that look is all about with the eyes, very simple, very easy. But I also am going to show you a bunch of new makeup that I've been accumulating using and you can hear my thoughts on it and it did pull this look together really well today. So I hope that you're going to enjoy that. But first we're gonna put a timestamp right here where you can skip ahead and see that tutorial if that's all you came to see because I do talk about what I'm wearing as well. I'm wearing a cold shoulder top today. It has the straps that help hide the bra. I do wear a black bra with it. This has a handkerchief hemline which I think is so flattering and so cute. It is a tunic. I'm in love with it. Also I'm in love with the pants that I have on. You won't be able to see them very much but these pants I will try to show you a clip of them right here. These pants are are so comfortable. Holy moly. They're a dress pant, but there's that super stretchy material and they fit so well. I wear a a 12 to a 14 large, which is what I normally wear. These pants right now I have in 14. I wish I'd gone to a 12, just so you know. So they might run just a tiny, teeny bit, a little bit large. But if you wear a 14, you're comfortable in a 14, you might want to just get a 14. Also, I want to share with you my earrings. I'm absolutely in love with these. I'm always in love with every earring I show you guys. But I love this black earring with the gold accent. I just think that it's so cute. These are so light because these are plastic. So you get the really pretty geometric design of them without having to have your ear tugged down, which is always what I love about earrings. And then I'm just wearing a very simple chain today. It's gold. It is the 18 karat gold overlay. This is that Lifetime Jewelry Company that's been around since like 1987. I feel like I should be their spokesman because I love this jewelry so much and I have several pieces of it now. I have bracelets and I have several different necklaces that I love and you're supposed to be able to wear this all the time. It comes with a lifetime guarantee. All you have to do is register it on on their website, which is very, very easy to do. And all of that will be listed and linked below in the description box. Speaking of our description box, I have a numbering system where a number will go up right here that will correspond to whatever product that I'm talking about at that moment or that I'm using at that moment. All you have to do is remember that you liked that product. You don't have to remember the name of it. You just remember you liked number three, open up the description box, go to number three, next to it will be the product with the name, sizes, anything like that that I talk about in any of my videos will all be there along with the link and you can shop that way if you'd like to. So that is the introduction to this video. Let's get into it so that you can see how I pulled this look together with all kinds of new makeup. I'm going to start off with Rare Beauty's um, eyeshadow primer. I showed this in my last video as a new eyeshadow primer that I really love in place of one that I really didn't like. So this is such a good one. It helps cling to your eyeshadow or your eyeshadow cling to your eye, I should say. I'm also and trying a primer that I've never tried before. This is the Age Perfect Base Coat um, Blurring Face Primer. And this all came out at the same time, all the Age Perfect stuff from L'Oreal. And I had never tried this one before, so I thought, great time to try it. So we're gonna put it on, see what we think. Definitely a lot like the Magic Face Base, only a little bit more liquid, a little bit more fluid. It feels cooling, it feels like it's gonna press into the pores and it feels like because of that it's going to do its job which is blurring the pores. We're going to start right into the eye look. This is the new ColourPop on the list. This is their newest palette. Like they don't come out with a palette every week or so but I'm going to start out by mixing this kind of peachy color with the muted mauve color right here. It should do pretty good and give me a pretty good transition to have those two together. You all were asking so much to um, see the look that I did in my last video and so I'm going to try and recreate that so that you guys can see. I always start out with a little bit brighter transition color. I just seem to like that. So I'm putting that right above the crease and just pushing it towards the tail end of the eyebrow in order to do 
as much lifting as I can. I should have told you that this is a Refer 01 brush. It's my favorite shading brush. By the way, if you didn't know, Refer is on sale right now. Buy one, get one free on their whole entire website, which is such a good sale for these brushes. This gentleman that, that owns it, he is just an absolute gem. Just a little backstory on that is when I had my bariatric surgery done, my stomach done, I had to go back in a week later in order to have a bowel blockage taken care of. And this gentleman doubled my commission because he knew that I was gonna be out unable to do my work and everything. He was just very generous. And so it's a company that I can really get behind and I love the quality of their brushes anyway. And they're expanding into so many different things. And yeah, I'm just couldn't be happier to be a part of that. Now I'm taking a BK Beauty 205 angled brush. This is just their shader brush. Really easy brush for me to work with. And I'm just gonna go into this. This color looks almost like a khaki taupe. It might not be dark enough for what I want. I'm gonna lay it in the corner of my eye and then I'm gonna turn it and I'm gonna push that up towards the tail end. You guys have seen this before. So if you've been with me any amount of time and I'm just gently pushing that, all that shadow towards the tail and bringing it a little bit over just above the crease. All right, so since it didn't give me enough of a de of depth in the very corner, I'm just gonna, let's see, let's go into this color right here, which is a little bit deeper than the last one, and I'm gonna take just a little bit of that maroon on there too, just to give it some little bit of warmth, little bit of depth here today, and I'm just deepening right there, and then I'm gonna go right into the crease, once I go into the crease, I'm gonna bring it over just a tiny bit. And then once again, I'm gonna push it up towards the tail of the brow and kind of round it and blend it towards that part. And then I'm gonna go into, I really like this color right here, which is kind of a peachy color. And it does have pinpoint reflex in it, but not too bad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay that across my lid as the, my base color to begin with. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that same finger and I'm just gonna go into the brightest color in the palette. That's very bright. And it should be just perfect for what I want. And then I'm just gonna lightly dab because I don't want it to be super high beam, but I do want it to brighten up all over there. And on top of that other color, it does a great brightening effect. And with my finger, I'm just gonna dab on top of the darkest color to get the two to go done. together. All right, that's all done. What I'm gonna do today is I'm using a Dampen Beauty sponge and I'm trying two different brand new foundations. The first one is from Beauty Blender and this, this is their Liquid Whip Longwear Foundation. It says it's oil free. So we're gonna try this on this side. Now I will tell you that I have tried both of these foundations that I'm showing you today, but um, I think that this one is probably my more favored and you're going to be probably shocked at that when I show you my other one because I've heard so many things about the other one but let's just do this one this side all right so I'm going to take one side of that I'm going to spray it with my max fix plus I do that a lot of people ask me why I do that I do that because it just seems to spread it more fluidly across my skin and I'm going to start down here on my neck this is just a tiny bit lighter than what I would normally use uh, especially while I'm tanning but it still works really well so I had one pump there and this covers so good I really have been enjoying this foundation it's a medium coverage but it's very natural looking coverage and it's very buildable so if you need it I got it right in my eyeshadow so if you need it to be a little bit more coverage you definitely can get that and I would think that you could really you know maybe use a half a pump spray your sponge just a little bit more and you could get a lighter coverage if you wanted that too I really like how it feels so light and airy. This is just a really good foundation for that. All right, my other foundation for the day is the new Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. I did two pumps on this one. It's gonna be a little bit darker than the other side, but that's okay. We can work with that. We'll just bronze up the other side a little bit better. What I like about this foundation, it does give you that soft, diffused pretty glow to your skin and what I really enjoy about it that it's pretty effortless to put it on I do feel like the beauty blender one might be just a tiny bit more matte than this one I do feel like this one has just a little bit more coverage maybe than the beauty blender one both of them I really like for different reasons I think that if you're somebody that 
doesn't like that huge high price tag of the hourglass one then you might want to look at the beauty blender one because i think it's like maybe even half of the price so you can see that you can have it has a little bit more glow that is one coat right there i feel like it does have a lot better coverage than this one does um, and you can probably see that the finish is more satin and this is just a little bit more matte all right we're also testing out two new concealers i showed you this the other day the sephora best skin ever concealer and i'm going to do that on this side now please keep in mind that this is a little bit darker color than i would normally wear and please keep in mind that yes i am spreading this across if you haven't seen my tutorial on how i do my concealer then i will link that for you because this can be a little bit scary if you're just seeing me do that for the first time the other one that i wanted to show you um and i'm sure you've seen this this is the new born this way uh concealer from too faced and this one is called ethereal light i wanted to put this in the video not because i like it per se because i've been a little bit disappointed with it but i wanted you to see it in action so that you could know how this performs if you have very very light circles let's say you don't need very much concealer you just need a little bit of coverage this one might be perfect for you for me i need i have really bad troughs when i when i look down like this anytime there are such bad troughs in there that this one just did not perform and did not have the coverage however like i said if you're somebody that needs a very very light coverage this might be just perfect for you and i'm going to put this on this side too i know i'm cheating but i put the other one away already so i'm going to put it right there on my nose where i get some nastiness there all right i did not have anything new for my eyebrows so I'm not going to do my eyebrows on camera. I don't like doing my eyebrows on camera anyway, because not only does it take up a lot of time, but my hand shakes so bad that I have to kind of fix it and go back and forth. But I will come back when I have one done so you can see the difference in the two. And I'm using the Ulta. This is just the brow tint or the brow gel. And I think mine is in light and it works perfect for me. I love this little teeny tiny spoolie. And yes, if you're wondering about this mirror, I can link the mirror. I don't think I they have it in rose gold right now. I think the only one that they have is in black, but I can definitely link the mirror because it's fabulous. It has two sides that light up and it's almost the side, size of your face. Normally we only get one side or the other that lights up. Five times the magnification, it's a great mirror. All right, so you can see how well it does from one eyebrow to the other. And that is just this little spoolie with the tint on there so i'm going to do the other one but i wanted to show you the difference in the two and how well it does if this is your first time ever of being with me when i refer to my hand shaking i have a palsy in my hands that is a familial tremor it is inherited and it's my disability but i try not to let it hold me back so if you see me shaking i'm not nervous i just shake so that's the way it is i'm using the benefit highbrow this is um, an easy way for me to clean up if I've skipped over anything on my eyebrows or anything like that, it's also a nice way to be able to define between the eyebrow and the eyeshadow because again when my hands shake i can get a little bit crazy there i wanted to share with you this is the danessa myricks contour balm and you can see my original one this is in light one and i've had this forever i've hit pan on it such a great contour but i needed a darker shade while i was self tanning so i'm going in with medium one and i'm just using a fan brush this is one of my favorite brushes ever it's not available anymore however you can still get a really close dupe which i always do link down in the description box for you all and i'm just going to take this very lightly into my hairline to try and lower a high forehead then i'm going to do the cheekbones and i go a little bit higher than normal and then i go right on top of the jowls that i have that sag so bad and I just blend that kind of down my neck a little bit just to give a little definition and hide the jowls and the double chin. So I go straight down the double chin kind of in a Y. This product from Danessa Myricks is such a creamy, yummy formula and I absolutely love it. It has been so good for me to use as kind of a contour bronzer combination because it's just the right in between color a lot of times if you're very cool it might be a little bit too warm but if you're somebody that is neutral or warm it's going to be a beautiful contour for you now let's just take that beauty sponge and let's go in and let's start on the sephora side and i'm just going to bounce that around so that you can see how well it does in blending and how good it does in coverage on the sephora best skin ever side 
absolutely beautiful, gorgeous coverage there. Brings a lot of light to that area. Now I'm gonna go over to the Too Faced side so that you can see that one as well. Okay, so this is definitely a light to medium coverage. It's not very buildable either. I'm just not very impressed with this one, but I definitely wanted to show it to you today in case some of you had seen it on the Sephora website and you were interested in seeing a review on it. So you can see both sides and probably on camera it looks a little bit different than it does to me. But immediately when I look down, you can see this whole area. I mean, a little bit on this side, but you can see this whole area right here that is just not covered well at all. I'm also going to take just a tiny, tiny droplet of the Sephora on this side, and I'm going to just blend that in. Okay, now I need a pretty highlight, and I have shown this on my channel before too. However, I've never demonstrated it, and this one is the Super Dewy from Makeup Revolution, the liquid highlighter. This one is their pink color. This is so pretty, and I'm just going to put this across my skin here so that you can see that, and then what I'll do is I will rub that around a little bit. It's very liquidy. And then I'm just going to grab it with my brush right here. I think this is from Essence. This is just, um, I think this is their highlighter brush. I'm pretty sure. So then I'm just going to tap it and I love cream products. I'm such a cream product junkie these days. It's so nice for mature skin to get cream products. So pretty. The pink color is so pretty too. I really like that. All right. Next I have a wonder stick from NYX. This is one of their new blush ones. So you have both of these colors on either side. I don't ever put my blush, like dab it onto my cheeks. It just never seems to go on well that way. And I have to really blend and then I feel like I'm picking up my foundation. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my blush brush and I'm going to actually take both sides of this and just kind of dust it across there. It's a lot on there. So I'm just going to pick up the rag that I'm working with today and I'm going to bounce it into that rag a little bit just to take up some of the excess. And then I'm going to go ahead and go in and put the blush on. This is so pretty. This color is so pretty. Very, very pretty pink color. Oh, that is so beautiful. Isn't that just a pretty blush color? So very easy way to do it. Just put it on, you know, swipe it onto your brush and then you don't have to worry about it getting blotchy. Pretty product, seems to last a long time on me. I really do like All right. it. On that look that you guys were asking so much about, what I did was I used a teal liner. Today I'm gonna use just a sapphire colored liner or a blue colored liner. What you do is you just go into the outer part of your eye and I'm gonna have to steady my hand here. You go into the outer part of your eye and you lay down quite a bit. So I'm gonna go over this like three or four or five times to lay down quite a bit of the color. And before it starts to dry, because that one will dry down completely, before it starts to dry, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a pencil brush. This is my Sigma E30 pencil brush that I love. And you're gonna take that pencil brush, you're gonna push the color up towards the tail end of the brow again. And you're gonna kind of bring it around a little bit onto the eye. And then you're just gonna push it underneath the eye as well. Only go in on the eye about two thirds of the way. Don't go all the way over. Otherwise you're gonna be defeating your lifting purpose. Now, some of that did get into my waterline. I didn't really put it into the waterline, but because I'm smudging so much, it does get into the waterline and especially with the shaking of the hand. Pretty. All right, in order to set the under eyes so that they won't crease during the day, I'm gonna take, this is a Rare Beauty, always opt mist for n1 setting spray i'm going to spray my sponge on the tip of it where i was blending out the concealer and once i spray that i'm going to just touch twice on each side three times excuse me <laughs> i'm just touching barely in there to keep that concealer set down without having to put so much powder up there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a BK Beauty. This is a 108. This is their highlighter brush. However, I'm gonna take the brush and Sigma has a beautiful new powder out. Soft Focus Setting Powder. This one is in Vanilla Bean. I'm just gonna get a little bit into the lid. Hopefully you can see that. And then I'm gonna take the brush and I'm gonna pick that up and I'm actually going to pick up quite a bit of it, tap it off and just barely go in there and tap that around underneath the eye. Now I'm going to set the places that crease on me the most, and then I'm gonna use it as a diffusing powder in parts of my face that have very big pores. I'm also gonna take that Always Optimist setting spray and I'm gonna spray it directly onto my face to help diffuse any powders. This is such a nice mister on this. 
ColourPop also came out with new liners. This one was sent to me. Um, this is the color, ugh, I don't know what color it is. Anyway, these are their new liners. I like their new little um, felt tip. It's not a felt tip, it's supposed to be a brush, but it sure feels like a felt tip to me and it's very fine. So this one is in a brown color. And then this is one of their mascaras that I recently got, Level Up Lengthening Mascara. We're gonna speed through that so you can see it just on this eye and then we'll go ahead and I'll do the other eye for camera. Okay, that's the difference between the two eyes. Definitely gave a lot of length there. I am liking how much length it did give. All right, before I got into the lips, I wanted to take my hair down. I wanted to put on my earrings. I'm so in love with these earrings. They're super light, by the way, so that, you know, just have the cute little block black in there. The block blocked black, something like that in there. And then they have the gold accent along with the little bling in there. I thought that was so pretty. All right, this is from ColourPop. This is called uh, shot clock. This is their liner. It's gonna really dress up this look actually. So can't talk and do this one at the same time either. So it's kind of a warmed rose color. I really think it's pretty. I also wanted to tell you that I did get sent these lipsticks from Rare Beauty, the new ones that she has. And I'll make sure that I link which one this is. It's kind of got a little bit of peach in it. They're a soft matte, but they're very comfortable. And I don't find that they last a super long time, but the formula is so nice and they just look so pretty on. And then I'm gonna take one of the Sephora's Outrageous Plumping Lip Glosses and I'm just going to put that right in the middle to bring a little bit of pout to my lips. And there you go, that's the finished look. I hope that you did enjoy seeing this tutorial today. I had all kinds of fun recreating the eye for you guys. Let me know in the comment section what you think of this look and whether or not you have any new makeup that you're kind of jazzed over that you are excited to share with all of us. We'd love to hear that from you. Right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put up another video right here that you can click on and you can go over and see right now. This will be another Get Ready With Me video where I will have lots of tips and tricks for you. Hope that you're all doing really well. Please take care of yourselves. I love you so much and I'll catch you in my next video. Goodbye, my friends.